In this video, I make all your command block dreams come true. That's right. Right click detection, baby! Right clicking is such an important aspect of the game. But how can we use that to activate some sort of command block creation? Well, you see, if we're holding this diamond, you wouldn't think that anything would happen if we right click it. But actually, I've created a way for us to right click, have that be detected, and then activate some sort of command. You'll see that I got launched up. You can see I can even parkour up here if I wanted to. Right there. And even up here. Aim towards the sun. So this command block is pretty powerful. Uh, and let me show you how it's done. Because although it might seem complicated, when you break it down, it's relatively easy. To explain this a bit better, I have an example set up here. We are going to summon an armor stand. That's right. One way to detect when we've right clicked is to use an armor stand because when you right click an armor stand, you give them the item that you're holding. So if we have this diamond block, you can see, well, the system is in operation right now. So this is teleported directly to my location about 20 times a second. And as soon as I right click, I get the effect. So that's how we are detecting if we've right clicked. We have an armor stand. Okay, bear with me, grab some water, maybe grab a snack, because this chain has seven command blocks in total, so uh, I'm going to explain them relatively quickly. If you have any questions, make sure to ask in the comments, but let's go in here. So the first one is, if a player has a diamond in hand, we are going to teleport the armor stand to the player. Pretty self-explanatory, but this is the base of it all. So if you are holding, so we're executing at the entity that has the selected item, of diamond now you could change this to any block if you wanted I mean I could put that to be a hopper or a wither rose any block in the game but I've chosen diamonds now if that detected we are gonna run a command to teleport the entity that's named AS armor stand directly to that player and because we've targeted the player at this beginning thing here with this at when we use these tildes at the end of the command the armor stand is being teleported directly to the player now, if that's all good and dandy, we are executing this next command in the chain, which is if the armor stand is holding a diamond, we are going to kill the armor stand entity. So let's go into this command here. Execute if the entity is named AS and is holding in their hand a Minecraft diamond. Then we are going to run a kill command to kill that person. The reason we kill it is just because we want to be able to get rid of that diamond that he's holding. And you can't clear the inventory of an armor stand, so we just kill it. And after that, if that's successfully executed, we are giving the player speed. We are then giving the player levitation. All at the same time, we are also giving them a diamond because the armor stand used it up. Because we killed the armor stand at the beginning here, we are going to have to summon another armor stand that's named AS. So we are summoning the armor stand. And this is just directly at the command block because it's going to be teleported to the player. It doesn't really matter where it is. Their name is a custom name, AS. They are invisible. They have arms, meaning we can add an item to it. And then they also have no gravity. Those are all important uh, MBT tags, so make sure that you have those if you recreate this. And then lastly, on the tippity top, we have a command to play the sound of a fireball exploding. Now, this is just to get a little bit more um, tactile feedback to it. We want to be able to hear that the command has operated successfully. Now, altogether, that chain makes this command run, and you can see that I've uh, used it multiple times in this video so far, and it's working seamlessly. Now, that's pretty much it. If you've enjoyed or if you have questions, let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you have something that you'd like to see or something you've been trying to and can't get quite to work, let me know. I'll see what I can do. Anyways, I'm Moose Stew, and I'll see you in the next one.